Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi, what we'll go through in this video is the factors affecting IDID interaction for non-polar molecules. Now we know that the interaction between non-polar species is our instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction. Now what are the factors affecting this IDID interaction? In general, there are two factors. Now the first factor is our electron cloud size. So if the electron cloud size is larger, it will be more polarizable, the IDID will be stronger. Now what we'll do is we'll use MR or the molecular mass to indirectly determine the size of my electron cloud. So in general, the larger or the higher the MR, the bigger the electron cloud size. So basically that's what we mean when you have a larger MR, then you have a bigger and more polarizable electron cloud. So therefore your IDID between molecules will be stronger. Now the second factor affecting IDID interaction is the surface area for molecular interaction. Now surface area is determined by the shape of your molecule. If in general the molecule is more spherical, then the surface area for molecular interaction between molecules will be smaller. So therefore the IDID interaction will be weaker. Now one final note which is important, when I compare these two factors, the first factor, which is the electron clock size, is more important than the surface area. So when there's a difference in the electron clock size, we always look at the difference in the electron clock size. Only when MR is the same, so we cannot differentiate by looking or comparing electron clock size, only then we look at the surface area. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.